what's up YouTube, it's Matt from the Glove Rose, coming at you guys with our uh, conditioning video that uh, we promised you guys. Um, so we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be lightly conditioning three gloves, just showing you guys um, all the different ways to do it and all the different things that you're going to need. So no matter what oil you're going to use, the biggest, most important things that we always have is a toothbrush, old toothbrush. You can buy a new one if you want, I usually just use an old one because I really don't give a shit. And... The next is a cut-off piece of t-shirt. Go down, find a Little League t-shirt or something you don't use anymore. Cut it up into like a million little pieces. It's like good for like three or four months worth of conditioning. Um, so yeah, I got that. And um, so here's the three different conditioners we use the most. Um, the first one, not in any particular order, is uh, the Nakona. I think it's NLT. Yeah, classic glove conditioner. Second is um, WebGem Glove care glove glaze that's a really that's a tongue twister it's really hard to say you should just call it glove glaze and then the last one is wilson mink oil and um i have them positioned in front of each glove because this is ones i usually use for each so first i'll start um, with my custom hard to hide i'm gonna show you guys right here just what it looks like a little dirty i've been using it a lot lately no to focus in so no it's not that serious <laughs> So what you're going to do is you're going to take the cap off first, right? We're going to go very step by step. We keep it very elementary at the Glove Bros. And uh, you just take a little bit. All you need is a little dab, this much. Just peek it out there like a turtle head. You come scoop it up. Come in and you just start working it in. Turn the glove, you can't see it. Yeah, no, I'm just showing you guys. What you're going to be trying to do is you're going to get in there. Use a little bit and just... Oh, sorry, I'm moving. Sorry about the legs, guys, but really. Just get in there. Get in that ass. And just just scoop that shit all in there. Just light little bit. You, I use the dab. It's smaller than the size of a dime. You come in here. Nice and light. Look what I need. You see how much darker I got already? Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab this towel. You're going to wipe out all the excess <coughs> conditioner that you don't need. People say that using conditioners or oils gets your glove heavy. Because they don't do this. They don't wipe it out. Really wipe it. Like you're wiping your ass right before you play a hot game. You're not trying to get swamped. You gotta really wipe that shit good. Okay, I have no dingleberries lying around me. You're trying to catch. This shit is brutal. So you see how it got a little darker? That's fine. And right here is all the dirt that I just got off that. Alright? So that's the first one. So, Nakona is a very good oil. Um, this is a great buy. I think it's like 8 bucks. You get a huge tube. This one's about to be out. I have another one, um, not in here. Um, somebody actually sent it to me. His name was uh, Henry, first name, I believe. I don't remember his last name. I don't want to drop his full name on here. We did a... Um, he bought my DJ2 off me, and he sent the money in the mail. So what he did was he put it in a package. So he sent me a tube of this. I wasn't sending it back. So um, thanks, buddy. All right, so next is the glove glaze. I'm not saying the full name again. This you really just need a little bit of. So if you really want to get this all off though, what I advise doing is when you're done, come in here and just scrub this all out. Really come in about five, 10 seconds worth of this. It's all clean. So now what I try to do with these, this is the first packet I got of this. I got it from Marco's teammate, Jake, who uh, got a web gem and um, he doesn't know shit about gloves. So he didn't know what this was. So I wanted to try it. So what I did was I cut it off on top, and you can see right here that some of it's sticking out. Literally is all you need. Come in here, scoop that up. So it's really nice and clean still. And now I'm going to come in here and show you a before picture of this. Sorry, this is actually the first time conditioning this. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we have softballs on all our gloves. It's just something we do. My softball is actually, it's hard to tell, but it's deformed because I hit it so hard in the cage. I'm dead ass. Marco laughs, so I really did this. Um, <laughs> Let me get up. <laughs> so now he's going to get up, come in. This is nice because this is a really, um, this is a really dirty glove. This is the first time we conditioned it. Uh, we got it from Select Gloves slash Premium Collectors. Um, they're the same person. Well, sort of. Um, but yeah, Select Gloves. Uh, super chill guy. Second time I did a deal with him. Um, I'm actually going to use a little bit more because, um, Horween's a very dry leather. So this really needs, um, a lot of, uh, oil. You need a whole glove or? No, I'm just going to do the palm for right now, Marco. Thank you for talking during the video. Um, I'm just showing you guys a quick, quick little tutorial on it. 
I'm sorry if I don't do the best job right now. Big thing about conditioning, guys, remember the laces. The laces are important. Go in there, really get it's in there. It's going to get really dry and sandy. And then come in here, show your laces some love. You'll come back, we'll do the back side of the glove later on after the video. You guys don't have to see us do the whole thing. This video would be a lot longer. Again, yeah, want to sit back down. wipe the ass. <laughs> you want to really clean. You really do want to clean all the excess oil off, though, for real. Not as much as I joke about it. Um, that will make your glove a lot heavier if you leave it. Not a lot heavier. I mean, you're not going to like get primo weight from this, but you're going <laughs> to get some excess weight. This is all the dirt that came on this one. And now, already, just look at the difference in the palm, guys. Show your gloves love. They'll show you love back. Yeah, this looks great, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's this one. I'm going to get out of the camera's view. And, again, come in, just clean off my brush. Um, those, I think you could buy from their website. Um, I think you get a five-pack for, like, 25 bucks. Um, I think I've done three gloves with this already, and I haven't even used probably about half the packet. So five for 25 is a good deal. Um, now I'm definitely going to get that again. Um, uh, oh, excuse me. I prefer this for tan gloves. If you're just starting, just grab Nakona. It's not that serious. Uh, like you see, this made this glove a little bit darker, but it will fade back. Um, but I really just like the glove glaze best. This is my favorite conditioner uh, for tan gloves. And now for black gloves, my favorite conditioner is uh, Wilson Mink Oil. I just want to put this on the side. I have to fart too, guys. Sorry. All right. So, I don't know if you heard my fart, but all right. This is Wilson Mink Oil Paste. Um, a friend of mine who's uh, older than me, he used to play um, college at the same school that I played at. A uh, play at, sorry. Um, is a what's it called? Um, he's a first baseman like me, and he told me that this is the best um, to use for when you're really trying to darken a glove or really this is more like a break in oil but this also maintains it really well is will uh not just wilson he just had mink oil in general he bought like a shoe mink oil like you buy like leather boots to clean them up but now that wilson makes it, i decided to just try this out this was eight bucks pretty decent tub size i've had this for almost a year now and i still have some left um so here's a before <laughs> picture of this glove what it's gonna be dirty Oh, uh, this is nasty. Ugh. This looks worse than your ass after you take a dump. Now, Marco just really hasn't conditioned this in a while, so I'm going to do him a favor and uh, condition it for him. So this one, I usually put a little bit more on because it um, it's okay if you darken up black leather, obviously. You really just get in there and... Let me stand up. <laughs> it looks like I have a lot, but as you see, I'm spreading it all out. So it's like uh, it's like when you learn how to paint and you put the paint in the middle and you work it all out. It looks like there's a lot of oil in here, but look, as I keep scooping it up, I can bring it wherever I need. It's like these laces right here, guys, when your laces break, when they're stretched out like this, how Marco really likes his really loose fingers, that's when your laces tend to break because they're weak. They're very stretched out and vulnerable. So you really want to show them some love. And just come out and condition them really nice. They'll appreciate it. Help you make diving plays and stuff. Um, so I'm actually going to start on a fresh eye just to show you how disgusting this glove was. Dear God. Wipe the ass. This leaves a little bit of a shine to it more than the other gloves do. <coughs> Now you guys could just instantly tell the difference. Um, this is also really great for color gloves. If you have a little bit here, I'm just gonna show you just a little bit. Just really, so you showed you the before, and here's the after. Brings the color back instantly. So if you have like a very colorful glove, um, don't be don't be afraid to try Wilson Mink Oil. And just so you guys know, this is how much dirt came off this glove. All right, it's just in a minute of doing it less. Sorry, I got a text. But, uh, yeah. So, this is just a quick tutorial on um, conditioning or in, uh, oiling your gloves. And uh, if you like this, drop a nice thumbs up. If you want more tutorial videos, let us know, guys. We're more than willing to do tutorials. If you want more rants, 
Let us know you want more rants. I don't have a rant topic today. I'm very sorry. I kind of want to keep it on a more serious note today and get back to um, some of our older videos where we're more informative. Um, if you like the rants, just keep saying rants, rants, rants. If you want more informative, let us know you want informative. And if you do want something, like a tutorial, tell us what you want. Don't just say a tutorial. I can't give you a tutorial on everything. So just um, drop some comments, guys. We'd love your feedback. Keep coming with the subscribers. We're at like 620 right now. At Let's say at 750, we'll release what the giveaway prize is. And then at 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away something awesome. But... Till next time, have a good day!